Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gut. Today we're cooking one of my favorite animals from the ocean. It's the langoustine. And we're making a um, fried langoustine on kind of a herbal bed with a sweet corn, you can say a, a roasted sweet corn mayonnaise and also some roasted sweet corn. It's gonna be fantastic. But before we have a look at all the ingredients, as always, do me the favor if you're not doing so yet and click that subscribe button and check the bell icon to get notifications. But now let's have a look on the board. Do we have some beautiful langoustines? I believe these are South African. The better ones are Swedish or Norwegian or Danish, but these will do. We have some uh, katsubushi, two egg yolks for the mayonnaise, some oil for the mayonnaise and some rice vinegar. We have our sweet corn. It's already cooked, boiled. I'm just going to put it on the grill to kind of give it a nice smoky and roasted taste. And we have a nice mix of herbs. Now, get the herbs you like. I have some sorrel, some dill, some chervil, and some tarragon. And we're gonna pick that and make like a really refreshing uh, herb salad. And we're also gonna make it like a little vinaigrette with the oil and the rice wine vinegar. Obviously, you're gonna need some salt as well, but I didn't have space on the board for the salt. But I'm gonna start with uh, grilling off the, the um, sweet corn, and then we're gonna pick the herbs. And we'll make the sweet corn mayonnaise. And the last step, we'll grill the, the langoustines. So let's start with the corn. When I come back, these will be grilled. Because it's quite boring to watch me grilling corn. So I'll see you in a little bit. You are lucky. This will be a short episode because I forgot to turn the camera on when the corn was done. So I'll just tell you what I did. I obviously, I grilled the corn. Once it got in, I cut off all the corn with a knife. And then I selected some of the pieces that stuck together to place the langoustine on top of. So I put these to the side and the rest of it I put into a bowl and I started mixing it and then I realized the cameras are not running. So now we're back and I'll continue mixing this. Uh, yeah, but I'll see you when it's done. And I'm sorry for forgetting the cameras. These things happen sometimes when you're a one-man show. But I'll see you in a bit once this is pureed. So that's pretty much as good as we're going to get it. And now we will pass it through kind of a straining thing. It's called a strainer. So I'll set that up and I'll see you in a minute. Our strainer on top of a plate. And we just take some of this out and we try to press it through. Because we're after the taste here, right? We're not really after the well, the consistency of mushed up corn. And this will take a couple of minutes. I'll probably start sweating a bit. So I'll see you once that's done. And I'll wipe my forehead. This is what you end up with once you're done. A really intense, sweet and smoky puree of corn. And this we'll use for our corn mayonnaise. So we'll start with the mayonnaise now. I'll just gather the things again. I put the egg yolks in here. Let's get in there with a good, two good teaspoons of the puree. A good pinch of salt and a half. We'll leave the salt there, we'll taste afterwards. I'll put the puree to the side. About a teaspoon a little bit more of vinegar. We'll leave that here as well if we need more. And I will first mix this before we start adding the oil. So that's a nice homogeneous mass now. And now as always with mayonnaise, slow at the beginning. And now it's all about adding and adding until you get the right consistency. We want it quite thick. I don't know if you can see the consistency in the top camera there, but we want it even thicker. Let's do it. Finger check for consistency. 
a little bit thicker still. Ah, that's pretty much it. Now it can stand by itself. So I will clean this up and then we'll taste it. Or, yeah, try it and see if we need more salt, more vinegar. Maybe a squeeze of lemon juice. I'll see you in a bit. Give this a little try. A little bit more salt. And I think I've had a little bit of lemon juice. Because the rice vinegar has a little bit of sweetness to it, like the sweet corn. But I want a bit more acidity. So we'll add some lemon juice and a little bit more salt. It's a good idea to always roll your lemon. It releases some of the juices in it. And don't forget to squeeze into your hand if there's any stones. Like I got one now. Mix well, and then I just taste. Mm. That's perfect. So our um, mayonnaise is done. I'm going to put it in one of those um, bottles. I'll show you. I'll get the bottle and I'll show you. I'll clean this. This is what I mean. Squeezy bottle, drip bottle. I don't know the proper English word for it. Let's see if we can get this in here without messing up too much and then we'll put this in the fridge and next we'll 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 pick the herbs so i'll see in a little bit once i've got this in here and then we'll get going with the herbs now let's start with the sorrel uh, the rest of the herbs we'll pick by hand but the sorrel will cut just get the stems off oh, we don't it's up to you if you cut them or you could just rip them as well just like this, I'll show you. Just rip the stem out, and then we... That's actually quite nice. I think we might rip it. it. Has a bit more handmade feel. So we'll get everything up here. For me, this is quite a nice mix. I mean, sorrel obviously has a lot of acidity. Both dill and tarragon has a bit of kind of this licorice taste to it. So for the tarragon, we just pick the leaves off. It's just going to be a very kind of fresh salad. The same goes for the dill. And for the chervil. I'm not going to bore you with watching me pick all of this. But I will do that, you do the same, and then I'll see you in, I don't know, maybe this takes 10 minutes. So I'll see you in a bit. We picked our herbs. I'm not going to need too much, so I'll probably make a herb oil of the rest, just to have. Uh, we're going to make a quick vinaigrette. Normally you would do like a 3 to 1 ratio oil to vinegar. But I wanted a bit more sour, so we're making uh, 2 and a half to 1. Just using normal vinegar. A little bit of salt in it. And then we just mix. Try to get the oil and the vinegar to kind of emulsify together. So we'll put that to the side. We're not going to dress the herbs yet. And the next thing we have to move on to is to clean in the langoustine. So I'll change here and then I'll see you in a minute. Here I'll, I'll just show you one. Um, the easiest is to just press together. If you follow the channel, you've seen this done before. And then pull apart. So press together, pull apart. Get the tail out. Be a bit careful towards the end here. Try to get the whole tail out. Doesn't always work, but this one seems to... Yeah, perfect. And now, this I've also showed before, we need to get the intestine out. Sometimes you can pull it from here, but I don't see it. 
So we go in with a knife, we bend it, and then we go in and we try to find it. But there you have it. I don't know if you can see. And then you just pull that out. Now this seems to be a very clean one. But they're not, not all clean. And that's just a nice way. I mean, if you, if you don't feel comfortable doing that and you don't care, you can just cut it up in the back, in the middle, and take out the intestine that way. So I will do all of these now. And then we'll move over there and we'll fry them. But I'm only frying two now, the rest I'm doing tonight for the family, so I'll see you in a short bit there. And one thing I just want to show you before we move over to the stove, I use these kind of short steel rods, skewers, to keep them straight while fry, frying them, because otherwise they're going to curl up. So you just try to stick that through the middle. And then they're not going to curl up, so they look nice on the plate. But now let's move over there. Make sure that your pan is hot and that you patted the langoustines down with uh, paper so that they're really dry. Because if they're really dry, then it's going to stick much less. I salted them on the top and now we salt on the bottom. And this is not going to take very long. We want them to be a little bit glassy inside still. So maybe. 20 seconds, 30 seconds on each side. Now let's turn them over. We hold the tail down because as you see it's glassier than the rest. pan could have been a little bit hotter. It would just take a little bit longer. So I'm happy with that. Now we'll take them and I'll just make them a bit nicer on the cutting board but I'll show you that. We'll just change camera positions. So we'll just take the rods out and what I like to do is just to cut the top off. I think it looks a little bit nicer and it gives me the opportunity to eat these. The only thing we have left to do is plating, but before we do that, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode, so do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button below. It really helps me to spread or widen the audience and it allows more people to enjoy my episode like hopefully you're doing right now. So hit that thumbs up below. Now, let's uh, get the stuff together and let's plate this. So, first things first, dress our herbs. that, put them on the plate. Next comes our sweet corn and on top of that our langoustines and last but not least our wonderful sweet corn mayonnaise. I said last but not least, I was lying. We also have our bonito shreds. Not too much of them. 
That's our plate. Let's give it a try. Let's get into this. Get a bit of everything. It's a really nice play between sweet and sour. Mm. You have the wonderful like hint of sweetness in the langoustines. You have the relatively sweet but also a bit charred sweet corn. The sourness of the sweet corn mayonnaise, the sourness of the herbs. The saltiness of the bonito flakes, or bonito strips. And there you see how it works sometimes, right? How did I come up with this? I saw a post. Someone had cooked a dish, and I think it was lobster with sweet corn and bearnet sauce. And I was thinking, hmm, that sounds good. But maybe I can change it up a bit because I wasn't sure about the sweet corn and the bearnets. But that could probably work as well. But this is how I came up with this. And it's the first time I cook it. And I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself. It came out really well. Mm. And I just love langoustines. To me it's really the king of the ocean. But that's it for today. I hope you try it out and I hope it tastes as good to you as it did to me. If you haven't done so yet, as always, please support me by clicking subscribe, checking the bell icon, hitting that thumbs button below and leaving a comment. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.